Oh, Frank Goody. Yeah. I think maybe they'd like to have us sit down in their chairs and pretend right. we're doing an interview. <laughs> okay. Let's go over here. So I'm glad to see that <laughs> we did the right thing. And it is, it's raining hard out there, right? It looks like it is. You also have to postpone some outdoor events that Mr. Carlson Yes. As a matter of fact, we had planned to have the, uh, the dinner instead of indoors. We're going to have it down out here in the Rose Garden. We've done it once in a while, and it's very beautiful. I nice got it back. The uh, weather did us in. Thank you, sir. Oh, great. Well, all right. Well, good to see you. Thank you. I know, but I'll have my husband more now. <laughs> Around more often. Yes. 
Let's go in. Should Fine. we go in? Please. Yes. Thank you again for having me. <laughs> Senator. I need to let, let them lead us in. No. Oh, let's all get in place okay. first. Okay. Hi, Senator. What's going on? <laughs> I just thought I would tell you that at least we know some people that are very happy about the change that's taking place. <laughs> no, I'm talking about where he's going, Merrill Lynch. With the news of this, today, the market went up more than 75. Did it go up? Yes, 75. Yes, $75. Well, what? 75 points. Yeah, yeah, less dollars. <laughs> a lot of dollars. Well, into, no, seriously, I think we're all uh, here with mixed emotions about what is taking place. I know, however, that one thing that now that uh, I can do that he will no longer be advancing is the last I can go to Moscow. <laughs> That sounds strange to you. I'll tell you why I couldn't up until now, with Bill doing the advancing, advancing for a previous president in Moscow, and in the hotel after, or one of the events, they got to speculating on what they'd heard about bugging and so forth, if maybe the hotel suite where they were wasn't bugged. So they started looking. And they couldn't find one till someone thought of the carpet and they rolled up the carpet and there was a metal plate. And with a pen knife, they undid the screws and took out the metal plate and there were a lot of wires in there and they went at them and they tore them all out. And then they heard the crash as the chandelier in the room below. <laughs> I think all of us are very, <clears throat> it is mixed emotions. We're pleased that your family is going to see you much more of you now <laughs> and you. not have the long separations that they've had so many times. And at the same time, though, we're very sad because he has, he's been a master at what he's done. <laughs> you away from home so you never went to that. And you never had to do anything like that when you were out with us. I think this is between Geneva trips, Mr. President. <laughs> well, uh, God bless you and, and thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Really, it's going to be hard for me to say this. And, uh, I truly appreciate everything that I've done here. You have been wonderful. I have witnessed history be made as you move this country forward. And to me, that is the greatest reward. What you've done for this country, the American people, and I look particularly at Jessica. And as I said in my letter of resignation, it's uh, it's for these these people here that. <coughs> They will really know the difference in your presidency as they grow up because you've done everything for us. And I really appreciate it. And thank you so much. It's been my honor. Thank you. This is just a little souvenir and uh, in no way reflects the great value that we placed on all that you've done. And now I think Nancy has something for you. Yeah, well, um, 
<laughs> you remember... Um... Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it. <laughs> You yes. remember Venice? Oh, it's and, such a um, lovely spot. Yes. <laughs> and, and the bed that the was what? thrown over. <laughs> Bill? You know, and yeah. the beauty parlor that was put in. Yeah. And, and the, um, the um, what else was done? The um, complete remodeling. Complete remodeling. Painting the wallpapering. Painting the wallpapering. The Venetian uh, bed linens. Mm -hmm. And, you know, all of those. Those things, are, and my decorator who went over to do it all. You remember all that, and Bill. I'm so grateful to you. <laughs> Anything. So grateful to you. So I just thought, as a little reminder. That's <laughs> <laughs> oh, that <is> wonderful. <laughs> To Bill Hankel, the keeper of the bed, <laughs> <laughs> with deep felt appreciation. Just, uh, oh, thank you so wonderful. much. There's only one thing missing. Uh, Bill was always in charge also of the balloon risings after those various things. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I came late to this operation with Bill Hinkle. I had only one trip that he advanced, and I can say that it never rained a drop while we were gone. But uh, while we were in Venice, I, I, I marveled at the accommodations at the hotel, especially his own. <laughs> and it was only by accident that I saw his accommodations because mine were in a remote corner of the hotel, <laughs> not very well lit. And uh, after I was there a day or two, I was bold enough to complain to Hinkle that my bathroom had no shower. <laughs> And that if it had a shower, I, unlike him, had no robe that was given. And the next morning, I found 15 robes that Bill <laughs> had provided to show his prowess as an advanced man, and I thought I'd give you one. <laughs> I think that's enough of the speeches because now uh, the food is, usually it's the reverse. The speeches come after the, the, the no, dig in. <laughs> Enjoy.